This is the third video of the topic series Thermal Physics. In this topic, we are going to discuss about emission and absorption of thermal energy by different surfaces and different colors. We can demonstrate the thermal emission by different colors using a simple experiment as shown here. What you do here is we will get a bulb, some kind of a filament bulb, and we color one part of the surface with white color and the other part of the surface with black color. If I repeat it, we'll take a just normal filament bulb and color one part of the bulb with white and other color with the black or some kind of a dark color. Then after that, we keep two thermometers in same space. So you can say the space from here to here and you have to give the same height as well. Right. Then what you do is you light up this bulb and we measure the temperature of these two thermometers. If you observe this experiment, you can understand that the thermometer uh, at the side of the dark surface, the thermometer at the side of the dark surface, uh, the temperature shows a higher value compared to the thermometer at the side of the brighter side. What you can understand from this experiment, we know that the, uh, the thermal energy can transfer from bulb to this one is mainly occurs in radiation because uh, the in between the surface is uh, air, so the thermal conduction is not much efficient, as well as the thermal convection. You know that if the bulb heated up, the thermal convection goes up, the convectional current goes up. Therefore, the main source of occurring the ter temperature at the thermometers would be the thermal radiation. Then you can say much effective thermal radiation occurs at the black surfaces. We can come up with the conclusion that black surfaces or dark surfaces emits thermal energy efficient than the bright or light color surfaces. That is the first conclusion we can obtain from this experiment. Right. Let's come up with another experiment. In this experiment, what you do is we need to identify the variation of the radiation with different colors. Right. What you do is we take a box, some kind of a metal box, and we color up the surfaces with different colors, just like black, white, gray, or something, different colors. After that, what you do is we will fill up this box with some kind of a liquid with a known temperature. Then after that, we keep a thermocouple or infrared radio detector at a, some, uh, at a certain distance, we measure the count. We do it for all of these surfaces and by filling this box with the, some kind of a liquid or water, simply we can take water from a non-constant temperature. That means if you repeat this experiment for white color with 100 Celsius, you have to do this experiment with the black color with same temperature 100 Celsius like that. We, uh, we measure the uh, uh, infrared detector uh, uh, reading for different colors, just like white, black, uh, light gray, dark gray, etc. If you do this, you will understand that the highest infrared radiation occurs when you turn up this, uh, what do you call that side, to the black side. That means the maximum amount of thermal radiation or infrared radiation occurs by black color and then the dark gray color, then light gray color, the least amount of thermal radiation occurs from the side of white color. Therefore, we know that this gives you another evidence to say that always the dark color emits thermal, a thermal radiation effective than the light color. That is the conclusion where we can get from this experiment. Therefore, from first two experiments, we realize that dark colors emit thermal radiation faster than the bright color. That is the first conclusion where we can 
get over here, right? The next experiment we do to identify the heat absorption by different colors. What we do is we take two cans, we take two cans and submerge two thermometers. And after that, we fill up these two cans with same amount of water with same temperature. We take a, say some kind of water from one uh, container that means the uh, water in that container would be same. So therefore we fill up the two cans uh, with the same water into same amount. So if you fill up a 200 milliliters over here, you have to fill up same 200 milliliters over here as well. Then after that we submerge two thermometers and we keep these two cans in front of in front, what you call at a exposure to sun rays or we can keep closer to a, some kind of a burner. There you can understand that uh, the higher temperature rise you can observe at a can where it's colored with dark color surfaces then uh, then the uh, the can with low color surfaces so if you repeat it experiment you obtain the same answer again that means you give a, we obtain another conclusion what is that that means the dark colors absorbs thermal energy effective than the the white color or the bright uh, light colors right using these three experiments we can come up to a final conclusion we can understand that dark surfaces absorb thermal energy so fast as well as we can understand that they emit a thermal energy uh, by, by radiation very fast uh, so if i conclude again the dark colors absorbs thermal energy by radiation so fast so not the not just uh, somebody you can say uh, thermal energy by radiation the radiation effect is very effective in uh, dark colors by radiation. Radiation so fast it absorbs thermal energy and so fast they uh, at the same time they emit the thermal energy here also by radiation. We are talking about uh, the radiation effect, right? Okay, then you can understand the dark colors absorb thermal energy by radiation fast and they say at the same time they emit thermal energy so fast by radiation right the bright or the shiny colors or light colors they absorb thermal energy uh, by radiation slower they won't absorb much faster as dark color with the meantime after they absorb the thermal energy they emit thermal energy very slower to surface these are the conclusions where we have to understand from this video.